What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not plan. my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help. He hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Let's put a few gaps in that spot. The tough act's easy to play when it's three on one. Time for you to lose some teeth. Don't worry, buddy. I'll lay you out quick. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk.
sure he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduce themselves. <laughs> What do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next. Sorry, pal. California drivers. So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. For God's sake, Cole! Call an ambulance! Satchel charges on the cave entrance from above. Covering fire on weapons team. Look for snipers in the trees. You know the drill. No risks, no heroes, no prisoners. You want some roast on this one, Sarge? No, you guys have done enough. Head back to Webs. We are going to blow every cave we come across. Close them down and move on, people. Damn. I was hoping to get me a samurai sword. Skipper says that Phelps has fallen behind again. He's got his fire teams checking every cave. He's lost another flamethrower. He wants you to get over there and hurry them along. <laughs> Weapons compass. Sir. Sir. We have a major cave complex in front of us, Hogaboom. I want flamethrowers and BAR teams to clean it out. Begging your pardon, sir. But if it's a big complex, why don't we bring the Shermans in? They could pour it in there. We can't wait for tanks to be brought up. I'm already behind. Then blow the cave. No skin off our nose. Bury them we in We are there. going in there and clearing them out. We are doing it by the numbers, Sergeant. Get your team in place. We're moving out. Mount up! First fire team and flamethrowers, head in! Where's he going? Where's who going? The big cowboy. He's going in. Who gave that order? You did. Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kelso. 
You look lovely, princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about... There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm gonna run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's gonna get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? You think I fell down the stairs? Thanks for the patch up, Princess. It might be the only R&R &R I get for some time. Remember me? Jack, it's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed, and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up, or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? 
Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. How old are you, princess? Sixteen, mister. How old are you really? Nearly thirteen. You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? Yeah. That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. She will only come back. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. What is it with you people? How can you live any better? You already have houses, cars, yachts. Greed and avarice are very powerful forces for change, Jack. Combine that with the city's desire for progress, and it's a very heady cocktail. You need to be a very special man to be able to resist that. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You and Monroe are going to scam those guys out of the GI bond. Jack, you are so naive. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? You smug son of a bitch. You're lying again. It's an insurance scam, pure and simple. And how do you prove that, Jack? My assessors wrote the policies on the houses. I only approve the reports, Jack. I'm the rubber stamp. This doesn't come back to me. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. 
He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Get all of the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why. Jack, you've made a terrible mistake. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. It's time to retreat, Jack. Live to fight another day. Get out of town. What's your problem? I should have asked. I'm just going up to my office, Barty. Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Watch it. Say, could I borrow some of that So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is... 3,500? Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? There's got to be more in these files. There's something else in that report. I know it.
34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? A little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semper Fi. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with the Lesion Fields developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me? This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The metal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Hello there. The Land Registry Office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. Courtney, for God's sake, what's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. 
I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I believe that is in the Wilshire area, here. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. It was 34.4.29 latitude. And I'm looking for 118.17.58 on the longitudinal axis. Thirty-four degrees, four minutes, twenty-nine seconds north. One hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty-eight seconds west. It was 34.4.29 latitude. And I'm looking for 118.17.58 on the longitudinal axis. Four degrees, four minutes, twenty nine seconds north, one hundred and eighteen degrees, seventeen minutes, fifty eight seconds west. The lot numbers one eight seven six nine eight eight. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. One, eight, seven, six. 988 eight. divided by 90,000 yes One million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided by ninety thousand. One eight seven six nine eight eight divided by ninety thousand yes One 
1,876,988 divided by 90,000. One eight seven six nine eight eight divided by ninety thousand, yes. One million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight divided by ninety thousand. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty one. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Let's see what the site is worth to them. One eight seven six nine eight eight. Book value is 350. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is 3500. They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears! <laughs> Throw out the guns! He's there! Right there! Weapons on the ground, now! You want me? You got me. Let's see if I can't put one right between your eyes. How long do you think you can hold out? You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. I'm gonna put hold on. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. Y you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? 
Don't fuck with me, Courtney. Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it. But it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial. Something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's OK, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready.
long do you think you can hold out? You can walk out of here or go out of the box. Your choice. Keep on going, Jack. Alright, man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe, where are you, damn it? Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. <laughs> 
Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. <laughs> Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. That's a hell of a payroll. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Dr. Fontaine. I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. It can't be stopped, Council. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? <coughs> Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. 
he did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and then a he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name! He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! Statewide APB out on. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. How do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side right now. Christ, what was that? Explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPO can give us the details on the way.